Transport links are pretty great here in Scotland. Fuck your cars and aeroplanes, therefore, knobs man, you want to cross the fourth of day. There's only one way, Scott Rail. Every minute, some cunts taking Scott Rail. Glasgow Central and Rakeithing Bathgate Methyl What do you do? Just jump onto a Scott Rail Fuck your drum words, get yourself on Scott Rail This daft joke won't travel well but Scott Rail Sam, wake up man! Ready? Long time no see See that? I'm shite at this fucking thing. Ugh, not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. DuckTales Remastered is a HD remake of a NES game which, at its core, still manages to play and feel like a NES game. By that I mean it's hard as balls. And see me, I'm crap at games, so it's been a bit of a boy to make any fucking progress whatsoever. That's not the game's fault, that's my fault. You see, I'm a decrepit old prick, and I've been coddled for the last 10 years by games that just hod your hand and, and tell you that, that death is okay. And most of you are just like me in that regard, so it's no wonder the unforgiving difficulty of this thing has become its defining criticism since the reviews started coming out. If DuckTales gets you down because you're shite at it, there's another HD remake out that might be right up your street. Flashback! I fucking love Flashback when I was away. No, wait. No, no, I, I hated Flashback. I thought it was a lot of sh So anyway, DuckTales Remastered takes the story, art style and level design of the original 8-bit game and transplants them seamlessly into an audio-visual presentation fit for 2013. It's a beautiful job, actually. They've redrawn the sprites at higher res, rebuilt the platforms and backgrounds in 2.5D and enlisted the cast of the original cartoon to breathe life into the wee characters. Ah, uh, don't be silly, Webby. Yeah, there's no such thing as Dracula. Oh, right! Ah, uh, he is right, isn't he, Uncle Scrooge? It feels like it must have been such a labour of love on the developer's part. A wee heartfelt tribute to both the original game and the cartoon series it was based on. Right, fuck this, I'm deed again. Flashback! Mind flashback, eh? It was like another world, but... We a tenth of the wonderment. So in this new version they've completely revamped the level design and visuals to a modern standard but kept the core of the experience intact. So it's a really frustrating game with shite awkward controls and a nonsensical story except now it runs in the Unreal 3 engine and looks like a knockoff of Shadow Complex. They've added voice acting to this and all but they needn't have fucking bothered. Ouch! I'm out of here. Final safety tip. Don't eat the fruit. What? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, great. You didn't even tell me. Mmm. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Why is he saying it like that? Awesome sauce. I mean, awesome sauce is horrendous patter, but if you were to say it... Awesome sauce. You'd be like, awesome sauce, or that's totes awesome sauce. You wouldn't be like, awesome sauce, like, like you just found a fucking jar of Dijonais. So anyway, DuckTales is fucking lovely, like, the original was made by the folk who'd done the Mega Man games and it shows, it's got a similar structure to it and how you can choose which order a day hangs in, and it's got that signature of being brutal but you still love it. The remake is a credit to the original in that they didn't have to make any fundamental changes in order to make it palatable for a modern audience, you know? After all these years, it still feels like a wee grand adventure of- For fuck's sake! That lead you gave me's really panning out! Flashback! Oh I mind the flashback, mind the bit where you had to get past the worms. I'm a wee worm and I'm going to bite you look like your fucking deed. Here's an example of one of the many bad decisions made during the development of this game, right? They've included the original, and you think, Cracking, I'll play both, compare and contrast. But you go to it and they make you play it through this fucking virtual arcade machine. 
postage stamp sized, complete with a distracting glare on the fucking screen. I mean, what's the point? The amount of time it must have taken to present the game in this way, and for what? To make it borderline unplayable? I can't eat. I... Do you know what I mean? Have you seen this replicant? Uh-huh. I know that guy. He has a friend in the police. Flashback 2013 is alright, I suppose. I mean, the kindest thing you can say about it is that it exhibits a basic level of competence. It's a collection of code and art assets that somebody's made look like a video game. But it's not going to impress any fan of the original, and I very much doubt it's going to turn the head of any cunt who isn't he? I mean, look at the components here. You've got an 80s sci-fi action movie plot, a setting that in the right hands could be incredibly atmospheric, but it's just bland, phoned-in pish. I'm sure I've had better landings, but... Uh... I can't remember when. It's the kind of HD remake that makes folk think the very practice of remaking old classics is a pointless endeavour that only serves to tarnish folk's memory of the original. DuckTales, on the other hand, is the polar opposite. This is a HD remake done right, a wonderful restoration job that perfectly preserves everything that was great about the game while making it a nice fit for your flat screen telly. All the best HD remakes prove that when the developer gives a shit about the source and treats a classic with the reverence it deserves, video games from the past can shine just as brightly now as they did back then. Because what is built endures. And what is loved endures. That's for Babylon 5. I'm going back to bed. I'll see you later.